actually wanted to ask the doctor about like the sharp pain pressure. That is it is down. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's hard, you know, when you're a mom, you got all this different stuff going on, and you're a mom, you're a wife. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today's pregnant day in the life. I'm at my doctor's appointment. I'm 34 weeks pregnant. And I believe after this, I'll be seeing the doctor every week. I actually wanted to ask the doctor about like this sharp pain pressure, not pain, but pressure that I've been feeling like down there in my pelvic area. And I wanted to see like how low the baby was. I went to my ultrasound. They told me the baby was like four pounds and 15 ounces or something like that. So he's growing like right on track. I will keep you guys updated. Like, comment, and subscribe. So how low is he? Well, I was trying to get, I, it's, it's pretty low. <laughs> he's, he's in the, right there? Yeah, he's in your pelvis, definitely. Oh, wow. So his head is? His head is down. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you can tell. Uh, well, you're thinner, so it's kind of easy, actually. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you've been doing this for years. <laughs> <laughs> Right there where I can see you. How much is this? 34? $12.99. This is cute. I don't know if I want it to be all black though. $12.99? That's not bad. What do you guys think for like a hospital bag? I could like use this. It's like only $12.99 for this Puma bag. I think it's cute. Come here, man. Why does this look like YSL? It's kind of cute though. Three hooded towels, huh? We already have those receiving blankets. So we have made it back home from my doctor's appointment and from Burlington, all right? So I wanted to show y'all the few things that I got and also want to show y'all how prepared I am at 34 weeks, okay? Doctor appointment went great. Baby is doing great. Baby's head is already down, getting ready to, you know, he's just getting ready. So this is how prepared I am. Excuse the bed, it's not made up, okay? This is real life. So we got the bassinet. This is a Judy bassinet. You can make it higher, you can make the this part higher, or you can make this part higher. I, I like it, I think it's cute. Um, I would have got the thing where it like zips down right here, but the only thing is, look how high this bed is. My husband has a foam mattress on top of a big old king size mattress. So even if I wanted to do like the little zip down thing, I couldn't because it's just so high. So I like this, it's cute, it has like a breathable mesh. This part right here, I wish it was a little more higher because I'm short, my arms are short, so you know. All right, so let me show y'all what I got from Burlington. And I did find a hospital bag, okay? Okay, so the first thing I got was this journal. Y'all, I realized that I am quite of a journal hoarder. Cause I'm just the type of person that likes, when I do a Bible study, I gotta write my thoughts. I like to take notes, I've always been a note taker. So this is just like a plain journal for, you know, my YouTube um, stuff, YouTube planning. And then I also got this devotional, Faith Over Fear. And it's crazy because I, I didn't even come there for a devotional 
uh, journal, but you know, lately I've been struggling with like, you know, some fears or whatever. It's almost like per God perfectly led me to this. So it's, it's perfect. Like each day has its own little, um, part where you could just sit down and this is going to, you know, make me be more, just more, I guess, disciplined to sit down with God because it's hard, you know, when you're a mom, you got all this different stuff going on and you're a mom, you're a wife. When it's finally time to lay down, it's like, you just want to lay down. So this is going to force me to really, you know, get into my word. And then I have this right here this is uh because the baby didn't have no hooded towels he just has rags so i got some hooded towels and some rags um i guess it's like dinosaurs and stuff rainbows i love rainbows and this was actually 9.99 which is not bad three three hooded towels and three rags like that's not bad at all um i was gonna get the dr brown's bottle set which it was 29 dollars for like two three eight ounces and like two four ounces and like a bottle cleaner two binkies but i was like i don't know if i'm gonna breastfeed like i don't know if i'm gonna like i want to breastfeed the whole time but i don't know how often he's going to use the bottle so i don't want to waste money you know buy, over buying bottles you know so i didn't get it so if you know for a fact that you're not gonna be breastfeeding like that go check out your local burlington for dr brown bottles and then i got um this right here has like i like this is my favorite part about it, it has like that black um, it's a duffel bag really it's $12.99 the only thing I don't like about it is the corny Puma the corny Puma I don't like that part but so this is some of his stuff I still got more stuff to get y'all so I haven't put away anything yet I still have to wash everything wash all his clothes he has more clothes in the closet um, we just got this Ikea dresser um, it was like $200 um, so what I'm gonna do is on this side I'm gonna put my clothes on these this side and then jeremiah's clothes on this side i'm gonna get some drawer dividers oh there's some socks in there husband did that it was so funny because my husband it was so funny because when my, after my husband had put this together he had um he started to put baby's clothes away and i was and i came in here i was like no i was like no my mom's instinct came in and i was like no 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 dj we gotta wash the clothes before we put it in the drawers he was like i'm just so excited you know i'm just so excited so I'm gonna do a video where I'm like doing like nesting. Um, I haven't got to nesting mode yet because I wanna sanitize and clean the uh, washing machine. Um, if y'all ever sanitize or clean the washing machine or a dryer, let me know what y'all do because I have never sanitized or sanitized a washing machine before. So let me know. And by the way, I don't wanna use vinegar. So if you got a little, you know, DIY, uh whatever with vinegar i don't want i really don't want to know <laughs> but yeah so anyways i thank y'all so much for watching this video i really do want to incorporate what i learned from this you know because it's encouraged by ashley i love to encourage especially another mom so yeah thank you so much for watching this video hit that like comment and subscribe if you love my vibe and yeah peace stay encouraging the lord